What would happen if the choice to build uh, an alternative future is a collective uh, show that uh, my colleague Luca Gennati and I conceived uh, in uh, September 2019 before the sanitary crisis due to the coronavirus. The show assembled together 14 artists and artist collectives. It's a show that aims to narrate uh, different stories uh, about artists that come from different countries and cultures and uh, the show is a multidisciplinary project. Uh, there are uh, different kinds of uh, medium in the show. There are uh, sculpture, video, photography, uh, installation. And uh, we mm, decided to create uh, three different uh, macro thematic uh, in the show. The first one is uh, alternative imaginaries. The artist uh, present uh, in uh, this uh, category talk about uh, imaginary world, uh, with uh, utopian or dystopian uh, connotation. The second category is uh, more linked to natural phenomena. Um, so we try to highlight uh, in this section uh, uh, different uh, uh, theme uh, linking uh, uh, human and nature and uh, uh, not only the impact on uh, human on nature but also the contrary. So the, the, the influence that the nature still have on human affairs. And the last, uh, the last uh, category is uh, more linked to individual and uh, collective uh, memories. So the artists uh, that we select for these categories uh, are talking uh, about uh, like a personal background uh, of their past, uh, uh, some historical facts that affected uh, their cities, uh, and uh, um, they mix together these uh, two different spheres of um, memory. As my colleague Pietro De Giustina said before, we start planning the exhibition around the end of uh, 2019, so just before the pandemic situation. And the what if that the title uh, talked about it was about the everyday life choices and also about the nation choice for the future, but also for the reshaping the past and the present. So we think that every choice must be really calibrated for making a better world or start to rethink about what kind of error we made. Relapse is a newspaper uh, designed by me that I use uh, for cover all the windows all of the Santa Joana Museum, uh, giving uh, from the outside the idea of an empty space. Uh, this emptiness is uh, filled with uh, the full of the narration and uh, that is developed uh, on the sheets of paper and uh, uh, the narration is about uh, the, re the relation between uh, online action and uh, offline consequences in today's political and social communication. Uh, like uh, a bad trip or a hallucination, we move uh, through the pages uh, and we see uh, and rediscover all the fear and loathing uh, that uh, we see in uh, our today's society. The next artwork that we are going to talk about is Forest, forest Therapy by Aiste Amrezevicute. She is a Lithuanian artist. And these are some prints, made uh, digital prints actually, but it seems like the, there is a microscope looking for microorganisms, a kind of bacterial, biological stuff. And that's why maybe when we are talking about nature, we have to think about the, the micro, to look really inside everything, and to think that it is an ecosystem that really works well. So probably also the capitalistic society think about to make everything looking good, well, perfect. This installation by Shimon Popilet, an artist from Lublin, Poland, talks about utopia and dystopian situation. So you got a kind of uh, part that is uh, about paradise, something colorful, like a parade, and the other one that is more darker. So it's always, you can think about wartime or religions also, I don't know, the religious moment where there is some king, some emperor, is really contrasting this situation. And for Shimon, it's really important also that uh, the, the material, because they are toy, and there is also a problem about massive production and the entropy production in the world. Point is a work by French artistic collective uh, uh, Bernard from uh, the city of Rouen. Uh, the works talk about an um, ideal city, uh, Pouin, that is a game uh, with, uh, with the original name of the city Rouen. 
and uh, the work uh, is a multimedia installation composed by sound, uh, documentation, uh, read the objects, uh, and uh, um, it highlights uh, this uh, entity, Point, that is, um, that is dedicated to research and experimentation. Hello, my name is Vesna and I'm, I'm the Croatian artist. And for this show I created three pieces and it's made in traditional intaglio printmaking techniques, displayed in very playful and at the first glance harmless light boxes, but it hit the human impact on the nature. And in the today's world where uh, technology mediates our everyday lives with smart phones and gadgets. Um, I'm, playing, I'm paying tribute to the analog creation. In this part of the show we present uh, Home Revisited, a work by Macedonian artist Darko Alexovsky. When we invited Darko to the show we would like to exhibit the Home, a previous work that he did in the past but considering that uh, this work was a site-specific one, we couldn't reproduce it. So with uh, Darko, we decided to uh, create uh, a sort of reenactment of the original work that is, uh, uh, that is concretized in an archive of documents, pictures uh, about, the first, uh, about the first work, combined with uh, text books and uh, uh, pictures of uh, his uh, life uh, when he was a kid and uh, about his family and uh, his, uh, his um, home. This is an artwork by Orge Peligro. He is an artist from Spain and uh, he are making a um, kind of project, a huge project actually that is ongoing. It's a collage of many European cities. So as you can see, there are many different parts from different cities all around Europe. And uh, for this project, Create project, is putting more details of Create partners. In particular, you can see the Aveiro city here, and in future there will be you see uh, Genova and Skopje. Polymorph is an artistic collective uh, from uh, Rouen in uh, France. And for this show, they produce a new work uh, um, inspired by a um, very terrible catastrophe that happened uh, in uh, Rouen uh, months ago and uh, there was a, an, an explosion of uh, a factory, a very polluted factory and uh, this catastrophe affected for months the entire city of uh, Rouen. So the artists, uh, they modified uh, um, a snow globe, that is the classical uh, souvenir that we find in uh, in a normal souvenir uh, shop and uh, uh, they create a uh, um, sort of a composite uh, uh, memorial uh, to uh, not forgetting this uh, very, uh, very bad catastrophe and uh, to, um, to revendicate uh, an ecological discourse against uh, uh, the pollution, uh, the, the, the environment pollution. This is private, an installation by Serena Grassi. She's an artist from Lecce, from the south of, of Italy. Private, as you can imagine about the, with the title, is talking about privacy and also about the, how we use the technology stuff like phones and uh, every kind of media. So every day we share our privacy online, but this work is talking about some privacy to be secret. So our voyeuristic gaze can shut down the video that we are showing. A sensor will just contact us and it closes the video, so you can't not see anything at all. Macedonian Artistic Collectives, OPA, from uh, Skopje, presents uh, Contra Contra Bacon, a work uh, made in uh, 2016. Uh, the video that is behind me is a um, documentation of uh, an original work that they created for the Contemporary Museum uh, of Skopje. And uh, in the original work uh, there was this spotlight on the roof of the museum that was uh, functioning like a luminous uh, code morse uh, with a message inviting people to uh, protest and to stand against uh, authoritarian governments. I'm Jean Romeo, Camp Chouin. I come from Clément-Ferrand in France, where I live and work. 
and I'm happy to be here in this exhibition. And the work I present is on arrive, and it means also in English um, we are coming. And I, I like the ambivalence of that word because we don't know who is coming. Maybe us, maybe the people I present, uh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> and um, the importance of this piece is just to tell to people to know what they want to do with what they have in their hand. Because what they have in their hand can be a bomb and it can be also a love. Thank you. Hello, we are French artists. I'm uh, Sarah Vigier and this is Valentine Travers. Our collaboration uh, called Miette et Poussière, that means dust and crumb. crumb. And for uh, this exhibition, we made an installation video uh, and we, we took images on a French website we called Le Bon Coin. And uh, it was the first step. And the second step, we give voice to these images. We made improvisation. Sarah sing a lot. And uh, it's like a small theater piece improvisation. Antico. Um, based in Liverpool, originally from Japan. And the title of my piece is Luna, um, which explores the effect of moon on the creatures on the earth. And I wanted to also like uh, bring the mysticism in the nature. And so the non-human alchemist also appears, apart from the reptiles and amphibians. Muito boa noite. O meu nome é Rodrigo Malvar. Sou artista cria arte da cidade de Aveiro. Nesta peça de seu nome, Selva Coragem, versão câmara, testamos e proporcionamos uma, um convite para uma relação de interdependência entre humano e ser vegetal, promovendo desta maneira um pensamento de ontologia vegetal para com os visitantes desta peça. Obrigado.